Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is an exciting motherfucking video. I am filming with my iPhone 13 Pro Max. I think I've had this phone for two years. This phone is actually on AT&T, but I am getting a whole new phone, a whole new number, and a whole new provider. So I switched over to Verizon, especially where I live. I live up in the mountains, and so there's a lot of dead spots, a lot of dead services in my room, a lot of dropped calls, and I'm just so over it. And I know that Verizon is like the best coverage. I've had Verizon in the past. Anyways, 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 let's get into the unboxing first i want to start off with the accessories that i got for my iphone i got this belkin because it was on sale i originally purchased all of this from the verizon website the belkin boost charge USB C wall block really excited for this because you can never have enough chargers actually no i think coming from the iphone 13 it's a different charger right USB C. and then i got the 3.3 feet 60 watt usb C cable and that's all that I got in the first shipment by FedEx. Today I finally got my iPhone in the mail. So fucking excited. So <sighs> here's the box. Let me show you guys without giving my personal information. This is the box. Okay, nobody cares. It's just a box. I can't believe that I have this freaking phone. Oh my I'm so freaking happy. First of all, I just want to say that I'm really happy. I'm really blessed that I'm able to get a new iPhone. I wanted to upgrade. It's a definite upgrade in my opinion. Coming from a 13 Pro Max white to, I got the natural titanium color. So you guys can kind of see it's that natural titanium. I wanted this color ever since they came out with the iPhone 15s, I believe. I didn't have the phone at the time. <laughs> oh my God. And it's so freaking light. Like I was thinking, did they really send me my phone or what? So I got the Verizon iPhone 16 Pro in the one terabyte, which was my dream. I've always wanted a one terabyte, but just couldn't afford it. So now that, you know, my life is all figured out. Um, no, I'm just really blessed to be able to get the one terabyte, to get a new iPhone. <laughs> Amen. All glory to God, for real. I also have the full coverage. I got the unlimited plan, so like the full-blown fiasco. Is fiasco even the right word? I don't know. Should I do the unboxing with my face or should I take my face out of this video? What should I do? Now let's get my reaction. Okay, so here's the back. <coughs> oh my god. Ready? This is our unboxing. Am I recording? I hope I'm recording because it would be fucked up if I wasn't worried. Should I show my face? Why am I overthinking this? You know what? I don't care because there's a lot of videos on here on YouTube of people unboxing it and showing the phone in its full glory. You guys can go watch those videos. I'm going to show you guys my reaction. So let's just open it. <laughs> hey, my God. Open the bottom part. Can you guys believe this? I can't believe this. This is my reaction. Ah, sorry. I feel like I'm fucking dreaming. What the fuck? Okay, I feel like I'm dreaming. If you guys watched my first video, I said the same shit. Like, I feel like I'm dreaming. No, I, I literally am having um, the realization right now. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Hold on, I need to take a picture. Guys, iPhone 16 Pro, one terabyte, natural titanium. Oh my God, okay. I don't even want to touch it. <laughs> oh my god. First of all, I just want to say I went with the Pro just because I feel like my hands are small. I don't really care for the Max this year, which is so weird because all my years, all my life, I've always chose the Max. But this year was different. I wanted the pre regular Pro. I think, if anything, the sizes for the Pros are actually a little bit bigger than all previous models. So I'm glad that I didn't go with the Max because even the Max is a lot bigger than previous Max models. So that would have been extra freaking big for me. With cases, they're more expensive with the Max. So I'm super pleased and happy and I'm so glad that I got the Pro. <sighs> it feels good. Oh my god, it feels perfect for my hands. My hands are so small. So this is so freaking perfect. And you know what I love about this um, iPhone is that it's a lot more smoother around the edges. I feel like with the 13 Pro Max, it was really sharp, so it would get a bit, you know, you could feel the weight, you can feel the sharpness in your hand when you're holding your phone, especially if you work on your phone, your hand, you can feel it. You can feel the weight, you can feel the size, and you can feel the edges digging in. So I love that the 16 Pro is more of a smoother, rounder edge iPhone. Oh my God, this feels good. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have a phone that's not freaking huge. Even just holding the Max in my one hand would be a lot for me. My hand would like be struggling. Ugh. So I love it. This is so perfect. I'm so glad I got the Pro. 
I'm so freaking happy. Can I just like relish in this moment? It's so smooth. It's so cute. It's all mine. <sighs> I'm so happy. Okay, we haven't even got past the fucking unboxing. And then we have the cord, which I forgot that I had, but since that Belkin cord was on sale, I might as well. And I could use that for my car and use this one for at home. So it comes with the USB-C card not card, charger, no block. Pamphlet here, I know that they didn't provide stickers in this year's iPhone, which is fine. I actually use the stickers, but I think this is just like a bunch of papers. So I'm not gonna really open that up. I'm just gonna keep it looking cute and just put it back how it was and just preserve it <laughs> and keep it in my box. But I love the box because it's so freaking cute. I'm just gonna keep everything in there and we are gonna go back to unboxing this darn iPhone, y'all. First of all, I love the packaging. It's very minimal and it looks like it's freaking 3D. It looks like a real freaking phone on top. Isn't that cool? And then obviously, whichever color you choose, it'll show through the Apple. But okay, I haven't activated my service or anything, but let's... Ugh, oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, we're unboxing it. Oh my god! I'm so freaking excited. Okay, let's turn it on. Ugh. Let's see what happens. <gasps> oh my god! There's no service on here, so I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do, what I'm not gonna be able to do. I'm actually gonna start this phone up as a brand new phone. I'm not gonna import anything. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna... <laughs> oh my god! Hello, bitch! English, okay, United States. I'm gonna do a default. Um, set up without another device. Yeah, I'm just gonna set this up as, I'm gonna continue without Wi-Fi because I'm not gonna connect that right now. But I'm gonna set this up as a brand new iPhone. I'm not gonna transfer anything. I'll just retype all my passwords and my notes and everything and just redo everything. It's a fresh new start for me. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Yeah, I do need to activate the service. I'm probably gonna have to do that tonight. I don't know like how long that's actually gonna process. Now it says it's activating eSIM and connecting iPhone to cellular network. While this loads, just really excited and really happy that I have a brand new iPhone. And I love that I'm with Verizon again because Verizon had really awesome service and where I live and for the work that I do, like I need that connection. I would have a lot of dead spots in my bedroom, a lot of dropped calls, laggy internet, and it's just horrible. Verizon is definitely going to, it's gonna be worth for i know that verizon is a bit expensive but this day and age baby <laughs> we're thinking abundantly okay we're gonna pay that phone bill somehow some way right so this is taking a while let me unbox the belkin fast charge devices i'm super excited i mean i guess this is just like a cable what is 3.3 i think that's like the shortest cord is that like the standard length i'm gonna put this back in here and just keep everything all cute and saved up I like to do that. Like, I used to keep all of my old iPhone boxes and keep them. I don't know for what freaking reason. Oh, I love how it's so gentle on my hands. Because right now, the iPhone 13 Pro Max would be digging into my damn fingers. Cellular setup complete. Oh my god, it shows my number. Oh, it's now active. Okay, I'm not going to show you guys because it shows my number. Data and privacy. Continue. Wow. Everything is so freaking new on here. Okay, set up for myself. Sorry, face ID. I'm not going to do... I don't do passcodes on my phone. I should, but I don't. Don't transfer anything. And then my Apple accounts. If I can remember my Apple ID. The screen definitely looks like a good size. I wouldn't say too big or too small. I think it's perfect. It feels good in my hand. Like I don't feel like my hands are struggling to hold the phone, which is nice. And now we wait. I'm so excited. I don't think I've had a small iPhone since I had a freaking 4S. So that's how long it's been. My hands have been stressing, struggling, trying to hold the phone. So I'm super excited. So if you've been considering getting the Pro, but you fear that you're going to miss out on the Max, go with the Pro. Because especially if you have small hands, I, I've always thought, because my thought process was like, I love the bigger phone for movies and videos. But in reality, am I really going to be watching a lot of movies and videos? Not as much as I thought it was going to be. So yeah, if you've been debating on getting the Pro and you want to spend, like for me, I would rather spend more on the gigabytes towards 
a one terabyte versus the size to get a bigger screen and it's a lot bigger than previous models so you're going to be getting an even bigger screen if you go with the pro the pro is definitely a little bit bigger than previous models so it's not too bad you get the best of both worlds i feel like okay and it's setting up my phone i just need to go through the terms and conditions that is so cool who's that bitch just kidding i'm really not full of myself i just like to act stupid so don't come for me but it's setting up y'all oh it already feels so good in my hands i can't get over it when you've had the freaking max and max phones especially the 13 pro max i feel like that was that was the sharpest phone right like the edges was sharp it was rough especially if you have a case it just makes your phone even more bigger so if you've been debating on getting the pro fucking get the pro do not hesitate okay if you really really hate it that bad you can always upgrade it to the max but I'm really glad that I got the Pro and it's also great to hear that the screen is a little bit bigger. So that's great. Okay, make this your new iPhone. I'm gonna, this is the options. I'm gonna press don't transfer anything. It's just asking about location setup. I'm gonna set that up later on. It feels so good. Like I can't get over it. It feels really, really good in my hands and comfortable. I think that's the main thing. It feels comfortable. Screen time, uh, set that up later. I don't really care to monitor that. I know I use my fucking phone a lot do you guys turn this on your iphone analytics i'm just gonna share with apple and then app i'm gonna share with app developers you can choose between light dark and auto i'm just gonna go with light silent mode oh my god i forgot about the new button <laughs> Uh, it's so cool okay so it says what you can toggle silent mode on and off or check in status in control center okay action button oh you can set the action button so i think this is the one right here or is it this one? Oh, you can press and hold to turn silent mode on and off. And you can also customize action button to open camera, turn on flashlight, access the favorite iPhone feature. I think I'm going to be using flashlight because I'm always turning on my fucking flashlight for all sorts of fucking reasons. So I'm probably going to set it to that, but I'm going to do that later on. So I'm just going to go through this whole process of going through settings and what I want to set it as and stuff. Siri, I'm going to have to do that later. And I think I'm done setting up my iPhone, y'all. I am so freaking excited. I'm sorry oh my god i am going to enjoy my iphone and play with it set it up i hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing next video i want to post test video so i'm gonna record i don't know if i'm gonna record in 4k by the way let me just show you guys what the color looks like it's a beautiful gray natural titanium color this is the buttons gorgeous gorgeous phone USB-C. i need to get used to that too completely forgot side feels so freaking good hello sugar daddy that doesn't want no sugar hi yeah anyways i'm dumb as hell let me know what you guys think in the comments below are you guys gonna get the iphone 16 which one are you gonna get i definitely want to film a test video so i'm gonna try to record some videos some pictures everything using the iphone 16 pro in all of its glory i'm so happy i'm so blessed yeah that was my unboxing i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching Check out my iPhone 13 Pro Max unboxing if you're interested. Love y'all. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Everywhere you can find me at underscore Nicole Tiana. And check out my other videos.